We feed 1800 gallon tank right now only once in four days. We give them fish, then one day off, then the next day are pellets, and then another one day off, and then fish again. So it's once in four days. Uh, let's see how hungry they are today. of the Irwin catfish, Irwini. Come on, well see. That's something? Okay. Wales has reduced, Chinese whales has reduced its appetite lately. It just takes one fish every four days. I gave him like four pounds of mullet. A lot of them, but I don't know. 30, 40 pounds. 30 or 40, 6 to 8 inch, 8 inch mullet, finger mullet, I don't see it anymore, looks like they, they polished it right off. Dora is hungry, being the slow, slow-witted fish. See, he's looking around, looking at the bottom. He's hungry, look, looking around, but everything's gone. Never learns this fish. got something for the rocks. Okay, that's good. He found some. Some of them fell in the rocks. Excellent. Just as I was yelling at it, it proved me wrong. So that's good. So there's one more fish laying there in between the rocks. Yep, I can see the tail of the mullet. Tiger shovel nose that came from Mike, if you remember, it's been doing all right. It's a little bit, the tatter is almost gone on the tail. There's some tatter now in the in the dorsal fin. Come on, Dora, there's one more in there. You want to really surprise me? Go for that one. Those are my main two targets, Dor uh, the Dorado catfish and the Chinese whales. I don't think the pike sickly took anything. He's still not sure what's happening, what is being fed. Being as fat as he is, I think he's alright, or she is. I don't know if you can tell me. I read that white band followed by black band and followed by reddish or whatever purplish band on the dorsal fin. That means a female. I don't see really too much white on top of its fin. There's a tiny little bit there, but it's hard to tell. And I don't know if this is Cranicicla. Uh, how do you say this? Lugubris? 
L U G U B R I S Logubris or not you guys if you guys know Pike Cyclist and you can tell me what it is I'd appreciate it teach me please on the species ID and maybe the gender if you can tell the gender it's solid 12 inches maybe even 14 inches it also came from Mike and Amanda Shovel nose, plow, plow nose, shovel nose, or plow head, whatever. All right, people are still working on finding more fish here and there. Female dove eye, three arowana, doing okay. I don't like the American yields in here. I almost never see them grab anything except maybe an odd pallet or two. When I feed pallets, they just sit in these rocks, never come out. So I think they're not comfortable. I'm gonna have to take them out and put them in their own tank. I'm going to be able to see them eat well and not be afraid. Chinese wells. The stupid uh, largemouth bass and uh, Baramundi and Nile perch. When they lay in the open, the open, when the American eels are laying in the open, open, those bass and perch come over and look at them, sizing them up, like straight at the, at the head, thinking if they can gulp them. <laughs> No, I'm not surprised that I've never seen any damage on them. I mean, there's no, nobody's touching them, but they certainly are checking them out to see if they can be eaten. So they're gonna go into their own tank pretty soon. Should have been today, but I ran out of time. Should have been yesterday, I ran out of time too. And that was the case for all the seven years, seven days of this week, the last week. I think I'm going to take Louis the longfish also and put him in the same tank because I want to be able to train him to hand feed and then our visitors will be able to do that and enjoy it and learn about them. People learn the most when they feed the fish and they interact with it, they see what it does, how it does, does it. It's the best learning experience for our visitors. There are very few people who actually can take long lectures and stories about fish and remain attentive and interested. Louis doesn't pay any attention to the American yields, so hopefully it will work out even in a, small, in a smaller tank, in the 240. But we will see. We'll watch closely. There he is, the goofball, Louis, South American longfish. I put a tape to him. He's about 30, 32 inches right now. So he's grow he's, he keeps growing, and it's really thick. Also, he eats quite well. Okay, so we'll call this a feeding. I'm not gonna give him second and third seconds and thirds as I usually do. Because the Chinese wells ate, Dora ate, I usually do seconds and thirds for their sake. The Chinese wells may want some more, I don't know he's why he's loitering around and Usually when he's full, he goes back to the back wall and he, ha he uses those granulated catfish for furniture. He just hides behind them, in between them, by them. 
or lays around rather. I don't think he's really hiding anymore. Mostly he's just lay, laying around. All the five American eels are still here. Now none of them climbed out, but I don't want to wait for it. There's one right there out in the open as you can see. Looking for something, it looks like it. He wants to snatch something, but there's nothing to snatch. Everything's gone. Yeah, that's another reason I need to take him out because they seem to be. They might take too long to learn to, to take uh, new food. They've been fed medium sized pellets, I think, all their life at the farm. So that's what they're used to. I don't know when or how soon they will learn to take fish pieces and fall fish, whatever they want. Okay. When we brought five Oscars from uh, Mike and Amanda, we had nine Oscars in here and three of them got adopted pretty much in uh, two or three days. A peer from Naples came over and saw them and he really wanted them, so I let him adopt them out sooner than later. Including the lemon one or the albino one. Not the two old ones, the two old ones are still here. That's one of them. And the other one is somewhere there too. Yeah, that's the other old one. His eyes are still heavily cloudy. I don't know if it's just an abrasion or if he got poked in the eyes. Hard to say. Wreck to me, always follow me, look at me. Always have the hopes up that they will get something else, something more, something better. 